Maybe I've never felt like this So I just don't understand Maybe I'm not what you think I am Cause nobody knew how to hold me Without room for secrets to breathe Hello, Miss Winston. My usual please, straight black. Sure. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear about Amy. She was your best friend, wasn't she? Yes. My mother says losing your best friend can be as hard as losing your husband. Were you ever married? Why do you ask? Oh, I... My mother told me that when someone asks you a rude question, you just say, why do you ask? And it stops them in their tracks. Lola, if you don't learn these punctuation rules, then everything you write will give evidence of a compromised education. It will scream out, I have no interest in excellence, I'm not smart, I'm average, I don't deserve a good grade or a good job. Now, do you want your writing to ruin all your chances for success? Let's go over this one more time. Sarah, I've been meaning to call you. Um, Lola has decided she'd like to try another tutor. Uh, you understand, sometimes our pairings are uh, mismatched. Lola is lazy. Lola wants someone who won't challenge her. She wants someone who won't expect anything from her. Well, we just think uh, another personality might work better with her. Excuse me. I told you we can't afford it. But you promised. I know. I'm just, we can't afford it. Please. Yeah, we're going home. Come on. Excuse me. I believe you dropped this. Don't underestimate me and tell me to behave. You got it easy, baby. Don't say I feel the same You want me to be careful 
be smart enough to wait It's more than I can handle I'd like to set things straight <laughs> This one seems real friendly. And it smells broken? Oh, absolutely. Bless you. Shakespeare. House broken. <laughs> Somebody you know, never speaks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, I, I hope he talks again. Because, uh, well, it was really interesting to hear what he had to say. Okay. You came out. And I will see you later, okay? Bye. Take care. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> you look so hot. That was great meeting. Let's go. But I can't hide what you can't feel. It's running on, running. bothering you today? Uh, yes. One of my friends died of cancer recently and another just had a heart attack, so yes, that bothers me a lot. The doctor will be in shortly.
the group meets? I think it might be a Bible study group. Sorry. Do you know where the meeting is? Oh, yes. I'm going myself. Come with me. You can just put your umbrella right there. Oh, what the? Yep. Okay, come, come. And could not manage our own lives. That God could and would if he were sought. Okay. Anyone feel like sharing? I'm Hank, and I'm an alcoholic. Hi, I'm Hank. Hank. Come on. As most of you know, I, I had my first drink when I was 13. And ever since that time, I've liked the way alcohol makes me feel. Numb. And I wish I was numb today. My ex-wife is getting remarried. I never saw that coming. And it's as crazy as it sounds, and as much as we fought, I always thought we'd get back together. But thanks to Leo, my sponsor, I made it through another day. And uh, I only had to call him about 13 times, but he picked up every time. He was a minister before he uh, retired, and he's a good man, and he was there for me. So thank you, Leo. Because I, I know I was no walk in the park. Hey, really nice work tonight. Yeah. Okay, I'll catch you later. Bye. Hi. I saw you come in. You knew, aren't you? I see you're feeling exactly the way I did my first time. But let me assure you, we all know where you're at. My name's Kit. Sarah. Nice to meet you. Wait! I, I really didn't get a chance to introduce myself. I'm Darla. This is Sarah. It's her first time. I could tell. Hi. Do you have a sponsor here tonight? A sponsor? No, 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 I don't. Hmm. Do you ever think of changing your hairstyle? Why do you ask? Just because I think you would look so much younger with your hair loose around your face. I mean, I bet that bun makes you look like 10 years older than you really are. Um, I have to be going. Listen, I know I'm just a kid, but I've been in the program a while now, and I can help you. Good night. Good night. See you later, Ben. Hey, remember, keep coming back. Sit back, relax, we got a story to share about a girl who didn't have a care. Well, care she did for her friends, for the Hi. world, the music of her life, Olivia and the dogs of Please leave us a message. She was looking for herself, but she found someone else. It's time to be me. Said she, hey, hey, hey. Then she shed her skin, and out there came original life through everything. She changed. I'm the sage. She was showing me the way. She life built through me like warm showers from the With it. It's Kit. The meeting's about to start. Come on. I'm not going. Yes, you are. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm not. I'm I won't not. take no for an answer. It's it's really not a good time. It's never a good time, but you've got to do it. Now come on, let's go. You don't understand. I I had a buddy who dragged me to my first few meetings, and I want to do the same thing for you. Can we please go? I'm not going. I'm absolutely not going. There's just, it's, it's a misunderstanding. We tried to carry this message to alcoholics and to practice these principles in all our affairs. Sarah. Okay. Sure. Anyone feel like sharing? Yes, please, come forward. 
I lost my job, my marriage, my kids, and my self-respect. The only thing I gained was weight, about 45 pounds. A bunch of us are going out to eat afterwards. Do you want to join us? If you'd love to. So how long have you been sober? Um, it's hard to say. But you know what, that's okay. You know, even if it's a day or two, it takes progress. <laughs> Listen to her, the expert. I'm the one that should be giving the advice. Because? Because I've done this five times. Oh, that's great. Thank you. You're discouraging her. It doesn't take five times. Isn't that right, Dad? That's right. Dad? Yeah. These meetings are quality time together. Sarah, my advice is take things at your own pace and don't let anybody pressure you. You missed one. Did you think I don't see that you've given all to me? And when I found out Kit was snorting, I came down pretty hard on him. Those were bad times. He looked at me like I was evil. Said I had no right to criticize him after what I'd put him through. Well, he was right. Uh, eventually I got through to him and he got through to me and we helped each other out. He's been clean now for two years. What about his mother? Oh, she's, uh, well, she hasn't uh, been in the picture since he was two. Thanks for walking me home. My pleasure. Do you want me to come and get you tomorrow? That would be nice. OK, then. And then to realize that my kid is embarrassed of me. Last week, I uh, was talking to my ex-wife. She told me about a school play that he was in. He looked at me and said, Dad, don't come. You'd have to take time off of work, and it would be too much trouble. He was pretending to uh, be thinking about me, but I, I could tell. I could see it in his eyes, you know? He didn't want me there. He knew that he'd be embarrassed by his old man again. Anyway, I guess all I can do is keep following the steps, right? And keep trying. And that's it. Hey, why don't you go out? Oh, come on. No. Anyone else? You and Kit like to come to my place for dinner tomorrow night? We'd love to. So, what do you have in mind? <sighs> well, remember what you said about my hair. <laughs> I sure do. Would you mind if, if, if after I'm done with your hair, if I just put like an eensy, weensy little bit more makeup on you? <laughs> it won't hurt, I promise.
Hey. Hi. Wow, you look great. Thank you. Apple cider. Oh, perfect. Uh, where's Kit? Oh, he couldn't make it. Well, that's too bad. Actually, I didn't tell him he was invited. The dinner's almost ready. Wow. Go ahead. All right. Mmm. This is truly heaven. Now, I can't remember the last time I had a civilized meal. What do you mean? I mean, I don't eat like this often with the candles and cloth napkins. And, for example, there was a time when I used to make a pretty good chili from scratch. It was an all-day affair, but then after a while I thought, this is too much trouble, I'm just gonna get canned chili. And shortly after that, I thought, you know, heating it up is just so much work. And then I reasoned, if I'm not gonna heat it up, why not just eat the chili out of the can? You wouldn't eat cold chili out of the can. I would, and I do, regularly. And I think, I'm pretty sure, if I could figure out a way to eat that chili without opening the can, I would do that too. <laughs> In my life, all I had to do was my hand and say, Just let. What's the matter? Uh, nothing, nothing's the matter. It's just late. I couldn't bear to have my normal breakfast this morning. It would have been an insult to my taste buds after last night. What's your normal breakfast? Don't ask. <laughs> so how are you doing? I'm fine. Why? No, I mean with the eternal struggle. Oh, oh, you mean the drinking? I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> because, you know, you, you really haven't indicated where you're at. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm sort of at the beginning. Hmm. What about you? Three year anniversary coming up. Great. My previous record is two. But it's, you know, it's funny because before all I could think about was drinking. And now, all I can think about is not drinking. So let me see if I got this straight. You prefer not to talk about your past relationships, you prefer not to talk about your family, and you prefer not to talk about where you are in the steps. <laughs> I'm a brilliant conversationalist. You're a challenge. How about football? Mm, no. Baseball? I don't, I don't really follow sports. <laughs> Movies? I used to go, oh, all the time. Okay, that's something. Mm -hmm. I like ping pong. Ping pong? Yeah, <laughs> I won a little tournament once. Oh, so you're a ping pong champion, are you? Well, I haven't played ping pong in about 25 years, but now I got something to work with. Love that bed. Wouldn't you love to fall into that every night? Why don't you and I plan on doing that sometime? So 
So movies, ping pong, and big fancy beds with fluffy pillows. I think we're making progress. Listen, I hope that you didn't get the wrong impression of me the other night. I... Oh, I think I got the right impression. You got exactly the right impression. Which is? That's your putty in my hands. But don't worry. I assure you, I intend to exercise my power over you with extreme responsibility. Goodbye, Charlie. I'll see you at the next meeting. Don't strip away the past. Reveal the present. The famine for the... I finally realized the drugs weren't worth it. Not worth losing my dad. Ruining my future. Turning off my old friends. And quite frankly, I've become really disgusted with myself. I've become so self-centered. I don't want to be like that anymore. I wanted to be more like you guys. I wanted to help people. So that's what I did. So thank you for helping me get better. Oh, and one other thing, my band is playing at Oscars tonight. Drinks are on me. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, the music is free. Anyone else? You don't sew, do you? Hmm? You're missing a button. Oh, I'm sure I have many buttons missing. So do you, do you work or are you just independently wealthy? I work. I just have a lot of time off. What do you do? Testing. I'd rather not say. Oh, come on. What? I can't have my privacy, just you? Oh, I thought you were mocking me. Testing. So, what are you, like a hitman or something? <laughs> yeah, I'm a hitman. I knock off one guy a year and the rest of the time I play. I mean, if you were out of work, you could admit it. It wouldn't, wouldn't bother me. I'm not out of work. I edit books. I taught English at a girls' private high school for 12 years. And then a friend of mine in publishing asked if I would be interested in editing manuscripts. I thought it sounded interesting. I do it from home. It suits me. Any good books coming out? Oh, I never read the books that I'm working on. Why not? Well, I start with the last sentence on the last page, and then I work backwards. And that way I can just focus on the punctuation and the spelling and the grammar and not get distracted. Of the story. What? Nothing. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hey, everyone. We're going to start our set now. Hope you enjoy it. Boxes full of you and label with your name. Scared to go digging through. I don't want to feel the same as I did be. Wow, he's really good. What you should do this professionally. I got people everywhere. They tell me I'm okay. I even met this new girl just the other day. So perfect, so I guess I'm crazy. I can't get over you. I try to fight, but I give in. I guess you win. Everything we 
should have known that we were all alone. Then came stars and driving in your car of the perfect song. When everything feels wrong, I know this town may never come around, but I know. You asked me before if I'd ever been married, and I was very rude not to have answered you. I know you were just being kind to me after my friend Amy died. No, it, it was stupid of me. No, I was being stupid. Sorry. Yeah. On the house. Thank you. Broccoli, I'm gonna throw a surprise party for Rabbit. Wanna help me? Sure, Tony. Then come on. You can help me give out the invitations. Our first stop is the pumpkin patch. Exactly the tidy housekeeper. No, indeed. Kit says it's like a work of art, you know, it expresses my eccentricities. Well, it, it certainly expresses something. <laughs> oh, I didn't know picture frames could serve a dual purpose. I always thought they were just for displaying art. What, you never tapped into their amazing storage potential before? No, never. I see you have a mini landfill going on in your fireplace. Oh, I'm ever the ecologically minded one. And I figure why I burden the county's landfills when I can just go ahead and make my own. It's very thoughtful. Have a seat. Um, anywhere. Make yourself at home, I'll go get us something to eat. Just kidding, come on. He's really drunk, threatening to kill himself. I tried everything to get through to him. Nothing worked. Okay, just wait here. No, I'll go. I'll go with you. Hey, Hank. 
me. Stop right there. Don't you try to make me change my mind, Charlie. Okay. Okay. Just take it easy. Why? I got nothing to live for. You got your son. He don't need me. He don't even want me. Hell, he'd be better off without me, and you know it. Hank, you love your son, don't you? Well, how do you think he's going to feel when he has to explain to people that his father took a gun and blew his brains out? It's nightmare. Just can't look, but you still stare. Keeping on Thank you for doing your pain. Why can't you come away? Oh, it's a strange sight. How the oldest take flight. Oh, Talk. No, that is not what we need to do. We have a problem. You're telling me. This is this is really embarrassing for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know how hard it is for me to open up. I know. I'm strange. You are. No, I don't. I don't mean about opening up. I'm not strange in that way. Good. I, mean, that's, I know that's exactly what I'm talking about. Too. Mm. Mm. Look, I don't mean to endlessly frustrate you. Oh. I just... Okay. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that I'm not going to have sex outside of marriage. I came to this conclusion because... Well, I've... I've been through a lot of heartache and pain in the past, and I just, I can't go through that again. I can't. I, I just, I promised myself I wouldn't. I swore that the next time I had sex with someone, we would be married. You're kidding, right? Oh. Marriage would just be a band-aid for what is going on here. You know that, right? And your problem is that you are deeply afraid about opening up to someone. Yeah, I, I don't really need you to psychoanalyze me. You have to get over this. I don't want to get over this. I'm completely baffled. You know, I wouldn't blame you if you didn't want to see me again. I mean, I, I mean, this is a big problem. I know, I know that. Isn't it? <sighs> what do you think? Well, I think we're gonna have to get married. <laughs> it's not funny. No. Let's just call it a night.
Hello. Uh, hey, it's me. Hi. Listen, I think we better cool it for a while. Okay. Uh, because I don't, I don't want to pressure you into doing anything you're not comfortable with. Okay. See ya. Listen, I've been thinking, um, it's not such a bad idea. What? You and me getting married. Please don't make fun of me. I'm not. I'm not. Look, we go to Vegas, we get hitched, and then when we think it's run its course, we get a quickie divorce. A what? Sarah, it's obvious that you desperately need it. You just have this mental block, so we need to find a way around that. Now, I got nothing, you got nothing, there's no need for a prenup, seriously. Sooner or later, and I really hope it's sooner, I am going to have to have my way with you. Have your way with me. Can you think of a better solution? That was the worst proposal I've ever heard in my life. I'm sorry you're so upset. Okay. I'm, I'm just, I'm not clear on one thing, though. Um, what exactly are you so upset about? You don't know what I'm so upset about? You can't figure it out? Well, I... What, you think it's been my, my life's dream? To be married by an Elvis impersonator in some wedding chapel filled with slot machines? Or, or to plan my divorce before the, the marriage has even begun? Is that my life's dream? let alone getting married to someone without feeling that they're the least bit in love with me. I didn't necessarily think... You know what? I have a good life. I do. I have my work. I have my peace of mind. And I have a manuscript to edit. Goodbye. It's me, Charlie. Come on, open up. I thought about what you said. I feel like... Come on. And that's what, that was the biggest relief, you know, was that I could... Um, if I've caused Sarah to start drinking again, I'll never forgive myself. Since when do you care about the women you see?
Sarah? I own all the units and rent them out. So yes, I do know Sarah. Sarah? I'm so sorry for everything. battery, this is the place to come. Unbelievable. It's like an office supply store. Here it is. This is what you wanted. It says here, in case of emergency, I should call her sister. I guess I should do that, huh? Dad? What? What's happening to you? I don't know. I don't know. Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> That's very sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Tony. Do you still record those cartoons? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I go in about once every other month. I do 10 at a time. And I also do the commercials for the tie-in products. Why didn't you want to tell me about it? Because when people find out what I do for a living, it generally changes their opinion of me. Which is? Well, they stop looking at me as the edgy man of the world kind of guy that I am. And they start looking at me like I'm more of a... Tomato. As a tomato, yes. Mm. I'm glad you're here. Heading in there right now. Okay, where is it again? It should be in the back left corner of my bedside table. Back left corner, bedside table. 
Hang on a second. Oh, I see it. We got it, I think. Hang on. Yep, this is it. I will bring it with me when I come. Okay, we'll see you then. Ah. Oh. What are you gonna do? Nothing. You're not gonna call her on it? Wouldn't do any good. Dad, maybe we should throw it all away. No, 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 no. She's gotta do that herself. Charlie? Yeah. I'm Olivia. I'm Sarah's sister. Oh. Can I talk to you for a sec? Yeah, sure. Look, I'm really glad you came. Uh, this is my son, Kit. I thought you said she was dying. I didn't say that. Well, you said it was urgent. It was. It is. No, it's fine. It's just superficial stuff. Nurse said she'd be out of here in a day or two, Max. I'm gonna call a concussion and internal bleeding superficial. How long you known my sister? Not long. And what's your relationship? We're friends. Right. How'd you meet? At an AA meeting. What's my sister doing at an AA meeting? She's handling her problems. <laughs> my sister? My sister does not have a problem with alcohol. Well, you're gonna have to talk to your sister about that. Hope you're not just another guy trying to rip her off. What do you mean? What do you think I mean? I mean, are you trying to get your hands on her money? I didn't even know she had any money. Like, I don't care what you think about me, but your sister really needs you right now. No, my sister does not need me. And I don't need her. That's the beauty of our relationship. Oh, and don't tell her I was here. The news might set back her recovery. Hey, wait. Can I talk to you for a moment? Yeah, what for? Because I think you're more concerned about your sister than you let on. Why else would you have come? I came because I thought she was about to take her last breath. Look, I thought I didn't need my dad either. I thought I could make it on my own. But he means the world to me now. We've helped each other with our addictions. We've grown really close. Well, luckily, my sister and I don't have any addictions, so we don't really need to grow close. Hey, wait a minute. If I can help you to make peace with your sister in any way, here's my card. <laughs> Kit Peterson, musician slash mechanic. Are you being quiet? Am I? <clears throat> I'm sorry, I didn't realize that. What are you thinking about? Us. What's up? Sister, she was a piece of work. I didn't even know she had a sister until yesterday. I really know nothing about her. Yeah. What a nice surprise. What's wrong? Can I talk to you? Yeah, come in.
considering you might be in a very vulnerable position right now, and I don't just mean your injuries, I just think... You know how step nine is to go around and make amends to all those you've harmed in the past? Yes. Well, I've come here today. This visit is about that. But you've never harmed me before. It's more in the spirit of that, sort of like a preemptive strike. Oh. I see. So you plan on harming me in the future, so you thought you would apologize now. If I didn't warn you now, I'd feel bad later. It's about my dad. My dad is a great guy, the best guy in the world. He was never ugly or violent when he drank. He never hit me or anything. He never even yelled at me. He just disappeared. Everything would be fine, and then he'd fall into this weird mood, and then I'd wake up one morning and find a note. And it would say something like, I love you, but I have to go away for a while. come back as soon as I can. And then he'd be gone for months. Happened when I was a kid. Every time it happened, I'd have to call my grandma to come get me. He's done the same thing to every woman he's ever been with. I really think it's best if you don't. I mean, with the stage you're in. Just don't depend on them. Well, thank you for the advice, kid. Hope you feel better. Okay. Welcome home. Why haven't you tried to kiss me today? Sarah, why haven't you really told me anything about yourself? What do you mean? I mean, I have no idea what happened to you to make you the way you are. I have no idea when you first realized you had a problem with alcohol or how you're handling it, what you think about AA, where you are in the steps, how you feel about your family, basic things. I don't, I don't know everything about you either. And this is a big deal for me, Charlie. I need to go slow, in case you haven't noticed. I just need time, that's all. Well, you're a peculiar woman, sir. And I've come to terms with that, so you take your time. Just don't take too much time, okay? Get off the bed, we're gonna make it. <laughs> There she is, hiding behind a tree. There she is, hiding behind the tree. <laughs> We're coming to get you, Betty Broccoli. We're coming to get you, Betty Broccoli. You'll never catch me. Oh, no, you'll never catch me. <laughs> <laughs>
Did you think that my love was so cold yeah. that I just run away if you get a little alone? Did you think I don't Thank see you. that you've given all to me? I'm thinking about getting her a ring. What kind of a ring? Mm. Have you lost your mind? You saw the booze under her bed, right? She's obviously not in a good place. Wouldn't be good for you either. Yeah, yeah, but I just got this idea in my head that it's the right thing to do, you know? I think it's been clearly established many times before that the ideas you get in your head are almost never the right thing to do. I'm in love with her, kid. careful, Dad. If I were going to get married, I want to be sure she was being completely honest with me. You think it's a good idea to, uh, to have alcohol in the house? What do you mean? I mean, uh, <clears throat> if you have a problem with alcohol, do you think it's a good idea to have alcohol in the house, you know, for guests? No, I think it's a terrible idea. So you wouldn't do that? Okay. Would you mind if I didn't walk you to your door tonight? Who was that at the restaurant? That was my father. dead to him because I was a big disappointment to him. I got his hopes up and then I blew it. I broke his trust. Will I be ever try to talk to him? Maybe if you went to him and you were completely open and, and honest, maybe he would have a change of heart. What do you know about being open and honest? What about all those bottles under your bed, Sarah? You lied to me tonight. You lied to my face. What, what were you doing? Were you snooping under my bed? I found them by accident when I was looking for your address book. Joey, I have an explanation. I don't want to hear any explanations. You can, I have been honest with you. I've been honest with you except for one thing. Oh, please, Sarah, just go. Just get out. <laughs> get out! Sorry, I need to accept. 
accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference. One child's tear I've fallen from the sky I just enough sorrow I make a river cry One small tear Should be enough Slow on down I make a little rust Cause there will be Monsters In my Like a million years we see There will be Child's prayer on angels' wings, held together by hopeful things. One child's boy on the wind. Hey, is he at home? No, uh, he wasn't here when I got back last night. I thought he was with you. I'm worried about him. I think we should go look I'll drive. You know, your dad took me to this really beautiful place on the shore once. I think maybe he might be there. That's the place we used to go fishing. Worth a try. You really found him here once? Hi, Dad. Hey. Hey, Charlie. So what are you doing here? I think the question should be, what are you doing here? I'm appreciating nature. What about all of this? Hey. That is a terrible waste of money. And glass. I really should have recycled. I poured it out. Came close. But coming close doesn't count. I really need to talk to you, Charlie. Yeah, you two talk. Since no one needs to talk to me, I'm just gonna... You're right to have lost confidence in me after what I did. Why won't you trust me, Sarah? I haven't had 
the best luck with relationships. My first love swept me off my feet and then left me. I was pregnant with his child and I was devastated. I lost the baby five months later. After that, it seems like every man I ever trusted found a new way to hurt me. And after a while, it started to feel like I deserved all that pain. And so that's why you drink? Well, that's what I wanted to explain. I... I've been allowing myself to weave this web and and it just keeps getting worse what are you talking about i don't have a drinking problem i never have you know you really had me going there for a second i thought you were finally opening up to me you don't understand i'm trying to tell you stop okay just stop no you don't understand i can't deal with this crap right now but a very rough night get a ride back with the kids Hello? Yeah? Olivia who? Hey. Musician slash mechanic, right? That's me. So? I left my wallet at home and it's too far to walk. It just died all of a sudden, I don't know. Thank you so much, I really appreciate this. Did you know your sister calls your home phone when you're at work? Just hear the sound of your voice on the answering machine? Caught her doing it at the hospital. I asked her about it and she told me. Yeah, I've long since lost interest in what my sister does. You should just try and talk things out with her. Not gonna happen. I don't care about her anymore. Spark plug wire came undone. Give her a try. This is Sarah. I... I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the way that I treated you, and... I'm sorry for the way I behaved with you and Roy. I... I just hope that you can forgive me, because... I miss you. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> and I love you. And I really need my little sister right now. I do, I need you. So please call me. I love you. All right, we probably have time for a couple more to share. Who'll it be? Charlie, alcoholic. Charlie. I had a rough night. Um, I got overconfident, I teetered, and I nearly went out. But um, I made it. Made it through the night. Made it through this day, and here I am.
Um, <clears throat> I was going through the big book this afternoon, and uh, well, something suddenly became very clear to me. I, I, this not, might not make any sense, but um, what came clear to me was that uh, we all have wounds that will never heal. But that's okay, as long as we help each other to bind those wounds. You know, so we don't all bleed to death, basically. But then it occurred to me that, um, well, maybe that's what we're here on this earth to do, you know? Help each other find our wounds. Anyone else? Okay, then. Meeting over. Wait. Could I say something? Oh, that's great. My name is Sarah. And I'm not an alcoholic. And I'm not in denial. I want to extend my apology to all of you. I've been dishonest with you. I betrayed your sympathy and your trust. I betrayed your friendship. And for that, I'm very sorry. I didn't start out intending to deceive you. It's just that I, I used to watch you all gathered out in front. And I just wished that I could be a part of your group. And then one night, I saw Charlie. And I couldn't take my eyes off of him. I loved the way he moved. I loved the way he smiled. I came to that first meeting just to meet him. And I was following my heart for the first time in a very long time. And then one thing led to another, and before I knew it, I was pretending to be an alcoholic. But I have to say that being here has helped me because the truth is <laughs> I am a mess of a human being. I mean, I may not be an alcoholic, but I have problems to overcome. Huge, scary problems. And I've learned so much from all of you. So uh, I know it's a lot to ask, but if you would allow it, I would like to keep coming back. This is a meeting for people with serious problems. Come on. Calm down. Rules are everyone's welcome at open meetings. She can keep coming back as many times as she likes. As often as you want. Thank you. Okay. Meeting closed. I have to keep coming because it just wouldn't be the same without you. I'm just so disappointed you're not a real alcoholic. <laughs> do now. 
I know exactly what we do. We start on page one, and we don't worry about punctuation or grammar, misspelled words, or whether or not the margins are even. We just get lost in the story, and we see where it takes us. I love the sound of that. Nona, could I talk to you for a second? I just, I just wanted you to know, and I, I probably should have said this before, but I think you're very smart. Exceptionally smart. You think I could get into college? If you commit yourself and you work really, really hard, I think you could get into an excellent college. And if you'd let me, I'd, I'd really love to help you achieve that goal. You won't yell at me. I promise. This is him? This is the killer? This is the killer? I'm sorry. Good sit. Good sit. Good sit. Shakespeare, come. Shakespeare, come. Sit. Oh, there's a door. Hi. I didn't get your message till this morning. Let me begin by saying that Elvis is honored to be officiating at this ceremony today. We are gathered here to celebrate the marriage of Charles Manning and Sarah Winston. We'll stand as witnesses as they recite their vows and pledge their enduring love. Charlie, you take this woman to be your wife. Hi, uh, everybody. Hey. Uh, before we all start stuffing our faces, I'd like to make a toast. During the ceremony, I uh, asked myself if these two really did belong together. So I, I sized them up. Now, Sarah's tall and intelligent, good looking, refined, cultured, and dignified. And Charlie is not. <laughs> but obviously, opposites attract. So I say yes. Yes, they do. I'd like to make a toast as well to Sarah and my dad. Your wedding couldn't make me happier. And I've been looking for an excuse to move out of my dad's place for years now. <laughs> I'd also like to uh, make a toast to my sister, who's starting a new life with a new husband, a new future, and a new group of friends. Great progress, Sarah. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. 
Time stone cold revoking the reason to my rhyme. I wasn't joking. If there's a phony bone in me, I want it broken. If you don't know what to say or where to begin, turn your high. 